Hello again, my friends. I want to read you this super awesome story about the golden acorn. This is by Caddy Hudson. Ooh, this looks fun. I can't wait to read this. Here we go. Squirrel loved being the fastest. She could fly through the trees faster than anybody and had the trophy collection to prove it. Her most prized trophies were from the annual golden acorn hunt. Only the fastest racers won the golden acorn and Squirrel had taken it home the last eight years. But this year was different. All of those competing in tomorrow's golden acorn hunt must do so as part of a team. Beaver read, Squirrel scoffed, but I'm the fastest animal in the forest. I don't need a team. But we love to be on your team, Squirrel, said Rabbit brightly. You, Squirrel looked at her friends. They really did not seem like race material. But Squirrel had no choice. The race was tomorrow. Maybe a little training will do the trick. Or maybe not. The next morning, Squirrel gathered her team at the starting line. The golden acorn has been hidden. Ready, set, go. Whoosh! Squirrel was off overtaking all the other racers, even her own team. Squirrel, wait, her friends called. We've lost Tortoise. Ugh, Tortoise, huffed Squirrel, pacing back. Look, he fell on the tree. Squirrel grabbed Tortoise, plopped him back on the branch, and took it took off again, but not for long. Squirrel, wait, her friends called once more. We are all tangled up. Squirrel untangled her friends and was off yet again for about 10 seconds. You can't be serious, Squirrel moaned. Squirrel, wait, her friends called. Beaver is stuck. Oh, come on. Squirrel groaned. Once Beaver's bottom was pushed free, Squirrel was off as fast as her feet could carry her. So fast that she didn't even hear her friends calling for her. So she's all alone. Over logs and under branches, inside trunks and above treetops, Squirrel raced as fast as she could to find the golden acorn. Until there it was. It was the biggest golden acorn squirrel had ever seen. She pried it from its hiding spot and took off. But the golden acorn was heavy, much too heavy to carry alone. And there was only squirrel all by herself, squirrel and her golden prize. After lots and lots of rolling and pushing and heaving, she took a little rest. She was tired and sweaty and lonely. And a squirrel looked out upon the other racers, still searching for the acorn. She realized she had lost her friends. The golden acorn will have to wait. Whoosh! Off squirrel raced, faster than she ever had before, over logs, under branches, inside trunks, and above treetops, until there they were. After lots and lots of rolling and pushing and heaving, squirrel got her friends back. Her team didn't come in first, and they didn't get a trophy, but it didn't matter. From now on, Squirrel's friends would always come first. So I wanted to read you this story because it was funny about the squirrel, but also because it's okay not to come in first, and it's okay to work as a team, because that is the best thing to do, is to work as a team, and not just with you, with me and with all of our friends in our class. I hope you enjoy this story.